Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over HMD for the Hornet. You can equip the HMD in the ground crew menu, go to change helmet mounted device, and select JHMCS. You can turn it on with this knob right here. Once it's turned on, if you look off to the side, you should be able to see it. If you're doing a cold start, or if you're doing a hot start, but you didn't have the HMD equipped, then you're going to have to align it. If you're doing a hot start, but you already had the HMD equipped, then you don't have to align it. To align it, go to the support page and click HMD and then press align. You're going to need the cage button and also the throttle designator controller. You align the cross with the one on the HUD and hold down the cage switch. Keep in mind if you just press it it won't work so make sure you hold it down. Once it says align OK on the bottom you can let go. Then you can use your TDC to adjust the top cross so it's lined up in the middle. Then if you press the cage button again It'll switch to roll mode and you need to align the bottom cross. Once the crosses are lined up, you can unbox the align button. Once you do that, your HMD is set up and ready to go. There are some other things on the HMD page. You can change the brightness from night or day and you can also enable the blank. If you disable it, then your HMD will always be active. But if you enable it, then when you're just looking inside your cockpit, it will not be active and when you look away, it will turn on. There's also this switch up here. If you press it, it goes into reject one, which will take away some of the symbology. And if you press it again, it will go into reject two, which will take away more symbology. But I would just leave it on normal. These uplink settings here, I'm pretty sure don't do anything. Also, speaking about the declutter settings, you can adjust them if you want by pressing reject setup. Here you can go to all the different types of symbology on the HMD, and you can change it to on, level one or level two. If you have it on, it's always on no matter what. If you set it to level one, then when you go into declutter one, it will turn it off. And if you set it to level two, then when you go into declutter two, it will turn it off. There's also the mid setup. This has to do with the data link. The data link can only show a limited amount of things at a time. So you can choose what you want to be prioritized. For example, if you want to prioritize closest friendly, you can go down, select it and move it up then deselect. This setting adjusts the range at which you see things. So for example, if you set it to 40 miles, then you will not see any data link symbols that are farther than 40 miles away. You can also press these buttons here. This one will remove the closest friendly from the display. And with this one in the manual, it said it removes division members from the display, but I'm not sure what it means by that. It wasn't really very specific. I tried to mess around with it, but I couldn't figure out how this one works. That is basically how you set up the HMD. You can also enable a built-in test for the HMD. If you go to the support page and press bit, if you go to displays and press HMD, it will display some symbols. Once you've seen them all, you can press stop. However, keep in mind, this is completely optional. That was HMD for the Hornet. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you later.